you guys, this is Raymond Warner. I'm here today to show you the new One Complete Scooter. Now, the One is an awesome scooter for an entry level rider, but unless you got yours at your local scooter store, you're probably gonna need to put it together yourself. So, I'll show you how to do that. The One Complete comes with a bunch of awesome features, including a 20 inch long deck by four and a half inches wide, 100 millimeter wheels, nylon bar end, and much more. Once you pull the scooter out of its box, you're gonna notice it's wrapped up in a bunch of plastic, and you're gonna need to get the plastic off by cutting the zip ties that are holding it on. So, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. So before you guys go and start cutting stuff, make sure your mom and dad are around just to make sure you guys are safe and everything. After you cut off the front zip tie, go ahead and take it off, and now the scooter will actually come out of its back shape. Once you've cut both zip ties, carefully take the bars off and put them aside for now, because you're gonna start putting your scooter together with a 100 millimeter wheels which are in this clear package first. So go ahead and open up your clear packaging which inside you'll find your owner's manual, nylon bar ends, 100 millimeter one wheels, your two 5 millimeter allen keys along with a 6 millimeter allen key and of course the bearings which are ABAC 9s inside of the wheels. Set your tools, owner's manual and bar ends aside for now and just go ahead and remove the wheels out of the packaging. So the first thing we're going to do is put our front wheel on. To put your front wheel on obviously you're going to take, need to take out your front axle. To take out your front axle, grab your two 5mm Allen keys which were included in your package and just insert them on each end of your axle and turn counterclockwise. Once you've loosened both ends of the axle, go ahead and take it out and set it aside for now because you're going to need it in just a second. Grab your 100mm 86A one wheel equipped with ABAC 9 bearings and slide it into the front end of the fork. You can put the designs on either side, doesn't really matter, it's whatever's up to you guys. Once you have the wheel aligned inside of the fork, you're going to want to align each of the holes, grab your front axle, and start to slide it through. Here's a quick tip. If you go to slide your axle in and it's not going in easily, grab one of your 5mm Allen keys, slide it through one side, and basically make a pathway for your axle to slide through on its own. Once you've gotten your axle through, go ahead and grab the male side of the bolt, slide it in, and tighten it with both the Allen keys once again. Your front wheel is now installed and you're ready to move on to the back. Now installing the back wheel is pretty much the same thing as installing the front, except you have two spacers to deal with this time. So to start it off, go ahead and take your back axle out exactly like you did the front. Go ahead and set it aside and when you go to remove your actual axle, be careful because you could lose a the spacer. They do come out relatively easily so just make sure you keep an eye on that so they don't fall on the floor and go under or anything. When you're putting your back wheel in between those two spacers, you're probably going to need to use your Allen key. Use that little tip that I showed you on the front axle to ensure that it's a lot easier and you save a lot more time. So slide the Allen wrench all the way through both spacers and between the wheels. Once you get to that point, take your axle and put it on the end of the Allen wrench and start to push it through. You might need to wiggle the Allen wrench just a little tiny bit so the axle makes its way through the spacers as well as the middle of the wheel. But once you get there, you should be good to go and you're ready to put the other end of the axle back on. Now we're finished with the base of the scooter. Let's move on to the bars. These are a two-piece bar that come with a few extra components that you're going to need to know how to put on correctly. So let me show you guys how to do that. So there is a correct way to put these bars together. This slit, the small cut in the back of your bar, needs to be facing you when actually riding the scooter. But the logo that's stamped onto the front of the bar needs to be on the front. So go ahead and slide these two together just like that. Stamp in the front, slit in the back, and you might need to tap down it a little bit, but once you do, don't worry if it's not going all the way down because that bolt is going to ensure that your bar is nice and tight. So inside this small bag is one 6mm bolt along with two small washers as well as a rubber pad which we'll get to in just a second. Really quick guys, when you are actually putting this bolt in, make sure that the two washers that came with it are actually installed correctly. So that being said, the one with the cut in it needs to be on the top and the washer with a small rounded bottom needs to be on the bottom to make sure that everything fits correctly. Once you've made sure your washers are put in the right order and ready to go, go ahead and slide the bolt through the top hole on that bar and wait for it to, for it to fall in. Once you've done that, grab your 6mm Allen wrench and insert it into the bolt on the top and start to turn it clockwise. Once you've gotten the bolt all the way down through the top of the bar, give it one more quarter turn just to make sure it's nice and snug and make sure everything right here is nice and flush as well. Take your rubber cap, install it on the top and your bar is set and ready to go. Now for your two nylon bar ends. Bar ends are actually really easy to install, so you shouldn't have to worry about this one too much. All you need to do is grab one at a time, 
put it on each end of the bar, making sure that the lines match up to the style of the grip, and put it against a hard surface. And once you've done that, just push down and boom, your barn is installed. Installing the bars on the base end of your scooter is actually a very simple task as well. All you need to do is grab your scooter and slide the bar over the shim. Now, if you go to slide your bar on and it doesn't slide down, don't worry about it. It's probably just because your clamp is a little bit too tight. So take one of your five millimeter Allen wrenches and loosen that one bolt just until the clamp is nice and loose and everything will slide together nicely. So now that your clamp is loosened, like I said, go ahead and put it over the top of your shim and push down. Just make sure that when you're finished, you have your headset cap is pushed all the way down, which by the way, you do need to have your headset cap on and there's no gap in between your handlebar and that cap itself. So you can't see the inside of the shim at all. Now that your bar is installed over the top of your fork, go ahead and slide your clamp all the way down. Check to make sure your alignment is nice and straight. Tighten the two bolts on your clamp and you're ready to ride. But there's one more thing. You guys gotta give it your own flavor. So in your package, we've included small sticker packs and in these sticker packs are a ton of different designs that you guys can choose to put wherever you'd like. We did include in your manual suggestions on where to put your stickers. We found that that was the best placement, but your stickers, your scooter, make it what you like. All right guys, and that's the one complete scooter. Coming with your 160 millimeter wide TPR grips, which is actually the same exact grip that all the pros use. We have your nylon bar ends, which will actually match some of the components on the rest of your scooter. You have your two piece, handlebar, which is already tightened up, ready to go. You have a rubber cap in, making sure everything is nice and safe. And the great thing about the bar is that it comes in 21 and a half inches tall, 20 and a half inches wide, so not too tall, not too short, definitely beginner size. But if you are a little bit taller and you want to change out to a taller bar, you can. And you can choose from one of our other bars in our selection, and it'll go right on there perfectly fine. We also have the 4130 Cromali thermal treated fork, which can run up to 120 millimeter wheels. So keep that in mind if you want a bigger wheel and want to go a little bit faster. We have obviously we talked about the 100 millimeter 86A wheels, and the brake in the back is the flex brake on this. But if you do choose to switch over to the nylon brake, that is a possibility as well, thanks to the five millimeter bolt. So the one comes in six different colors. Those colors are pink teal, white, yellow, green, and red. And that's the scoop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Raymond Warner. Go ride, guys. Later.